I took a convex optimization paper with a clean open problem in it and asked GPT-5 Pro to work on it. It provided a better bound than in the paper. I checked the proof, it's correct. GPT came up with a new mathematical proof. What GPT-5 can't do, it always confuses people. AIs cannot calculate. They are large language models. When people ask how many R's are in Raspberry, that is not a task a large language model is built for because of the tokenization works. It can't do that. It's not about calculating. It's not about computing. We have tools that can do that. If you want to calculate something, you can use a calculator. If you want to compute something, you can use a computer. Now you can always ask ChatGPT or any large language model to use Python. So you can say, how many R's are there in Raspberry? And it will use Python and tell you how many R's are in Raspberry. But it cannot do it by itself because that's not what it's made for. This confuses people because AI models can do advanced mathematics. Recently, we saw a few models win the gold medal in the International Math Olympiad by acing the test. This confuses people. It can't count, but it can do high-level maths. Why? Because when you're doing high-level maths, you're not doing arithmetic. You don't, you're not multiplying numbers. It's about logical proofs, thinking through problems and providing proofs. This causes confusion, and this is why. But people go on about this stupid Raspberry thing. Every time a new model comes out, people are like, how many R's are there in Raspberry? That's not what it's for. But it's very good, really good, at high-end mathematics. So what it's been doing so far is nailing the International Math Olympiad, a set of questions. We know the answers to already. What has just happened, this guy Sebastian is saying, is that it has proven a new piece of mathematics. I don't know enough to say, oh yeah, yes it can. But there's a guy called Ernest Vayu, who is... Da, 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 professor of Mathematics at UCLA. Cool. He's going to know a bit more. So he says, this is a really interesting and impressive, and this stuff is my area of mathematics research, convex optimization. So I have a nuanced take, says Ernest. So Ernest says, the proof itself is arguably not very difficult for an expert if the problem is given. He's going to go through the mathematics, and I'm not going to read it out because it is unintelligible. The proof is something an experienced PhD student could work out in a few hours. GPT-5 can do it within 30 seconds of human input is impressive and potentially very useful to the right user. However, GPT-5 is by no means exceeding the capability of human experts. So this is a guy who actually knows his stuff and he's saying it, it is not moving into a new realm of mathematics, but it is providing a new proof, but it is a proof that a PhD level mathematician could work out in a couple of hours. But the fact that they are doing it, GPT-5 is doing it within 30 seconds, is impressive. 